Hello everyone, welcome to Epifilab and this is the ongoing uh, series on uh, full stack Oracle and Vue.js application development tutorial series. And today we are going to cover Vue, uh, Vuex, which is a really, really important topic uh, if you want to become a really advanced developer. You need to know what is Vuex because um, it will make your life easier um, in bigger application, it's a must have. And let's go through uh, the basic understanding of how Vuex works and what is Vuex and what problem it solves. So uh, first of all, let's go and see what it, what problems we face normally. Uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, you have these upload components here. Okay, so now here this upload component is being used by let's say category, and you have let's imagine you have um, three places this upload uh, is used, or maybe you have a modal uh, with a delete uh, con delete confirmation message, right? So. Here, this, let's say this delete confirmation message has some code, and this code uses uh, um, this code is used in uh, different components. Okay, then how we can make use of this component only once, and we can pass the data around in different components whenever we want easily, and then we uh, we uh, react based on that. And uh, this I will be uh, this I will do definitely and show you uh, show you with the code. But now let's say you have uh, we have an example here. Let's say this is the category list, and this is the uh, data, and this data is actually the local data of this category component. Okay. Now uh, the question to you is that let's say you want to use this exact same piece of data in this component. Okay. Then you will not be able to uh, use this data. In order to use uh, this data, you have to pass uh, some props um, in that component, and that's really terrible. Because um, what if you have more components uh, inside uh, tags and there are, let's say, tens, uh, 10 components, then you will not be able to pass the data, okay? Now, instead of passing data, what we can do is we can have a central bank of data. Instead of, um, let's say, you have components. Uh, I will show you in a uh, graphical pictures letter, but before I show you, I will actually uh, show you here. Let's say you have component A, okay, and that has a variable. Let's say it has a variable. Um, uh, let's say one of the universal list can be uh, website settings. Okay, I chose this uh, one just because it has a, a very good meaning because website settings can have an area. Let's say you have a component uh, component A, and it has a local variable website settings okay and just imagine website setting can be anything any important configuration that's every component needs okay now let's say this setting is also required for component b okay for component b and also let's say this component is required by many components okay this setting is required by many components now let's say okay I do, i'm not uh, going to name everyone differently so let's have a three component here okay so Let's say this uh, web uh, web setting website setting is required by component A, component B, component C. So what 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 option do you have? You, you have option like okay, uh, having uh, having something like this. Uh, sorry, let's go ahead and copy these things. You have an option like this. Okay, you have to use the local data. Then let this is if this is a component A, then you have to copy these things again, and you have to. Uh, pass this around here, so you have to uh, use it everywhere. Okay. Now again, a problem is that let's say some of your action has changed something, and then you have changed. Let's say component A has an action, and this action has changed uh, some of uh, its data. Okay. Originally, let's say um, in, uh, let's say it has an object, an object say okay, name equal website name equal uh, my site. Okay. Now let's say this component has an action and it's, it's changed. Uh, every other has uh, look. Uh, let's say my site as a data. Okay. Now if component A changed the my site to okay, uh, this is changed. Now we will not be able to change component B and in component C because we have to go back in component A, B, and C and change them manually, and that is really really terrible. Now instead of so here this is the problem okay now let's say how this problem can uh, we can solve okay so instead of using a local data we will use a global storage you can call it as a, a bank okay uh, i call it a bank of 
data instead of money uh, it's a bank of data okay and here what we will be doing is that we will be uh, storing our initial data okay let's say you have a website setting doesn't matter so you have a variable let's say uh, let's copy the initial one instead let's say you have a variable website setting okay now this setting now what they will be doing they will be simply they will not have any their local data okay instead what will be uh, what they will be doing is that they will be using the bank of data okay use website setting from bank of data okay so what they will be doing all of them will be using or referencing to this only one variable okay now let's say if this a guy a component change some data okay let's say it, it has passed an instruction like okay? a change the uh, variable to uh, let's say change change the data okay never mind so what it will go it will come here and it will actually override this function or uh, so this variable name okay so now automatically since this they are also refer referencing this one and C also referencing this variable and this variable has been changed by uh, a component so automatically B and C will get the changed data okay and you will be also we will be able to know which component has changed this data so everything you know the track and back and forth you everything know okay so that is the beauty of Vuex let's go ahead and let me show you how these things works okay so here you go you have a component okay now every component can have a have their own local data but instead of local data they will have their own uh, they have a global state that is the bank okay that is the bank and everyone can use the data in the component from the bank using something called getters okay so that is the getters so what do you uh, what do you do with the getters so vuex has literally four topics getters action mutation and state that is all that is all about okay that is all about just remember getters actions mutation state and i will definitely go through all of them and i will show you how all of them works together and why it's really important okay uh, stick with me and i believe and um, I, I believe you will never forget these things okay so yeah let's see this component using some data from this uh, database store okay and it has to use using some getters okay and then let's say this component has changed something so it will call an action an action will call a mutation and mutation will change the state yes there is one bypass and the bypass is this component can directly call the mutation skipping the action and mutation can call the state directly and we can skip the action the standard way of doing um, vux things or any state management is using this uh, action because action can have a lot of computation you can uh, have asynchronous code and uh, quite a lot of things yourself uh, like for example if you need to call a backing database um, let's say a backing API you can just use the action so you cannot do it in mutation so if you want to get some uh, backing uh, API data you just have to call the action and this action will then call the mutation and then mutation will call this state to change okay so here we said okay a changing the data how it changed data a component it has to call action or mutation let's say it call action then action will call a mutation it's all about function okay uh, nothing to worry about okay just imagine component call a function which is an action and then it call again a mutation which is again a function and this one again calls a, um, call the, the state to change okay simple thing and here is another picture uh, much better picture so let's say it, you have a v component so v component if you in order to change something or call an action you have to use this much uh, okay so the way we change something you uh, in action it is used as a dispatch so we dispatch some action and this action can have their own code or can call a big uh, back in api and api will send back the data and you can um, pass this data using commit to mutation Okay, and you can observe these things in the DevTools. Okay, this is what it's saying. We have a Chrome uh, view at DevTool extension, and we can easily inspect what is going on in the mutation area. And then mutation will say, okay, I have an array of data 
please mutate the uh, mutate and change in our database. So what you will, what uh, we will do? Uh, let's say this section has uh, got all the category. Let's say five category list, okay? And this category list will be passed to mutation, and mutation will uh, uh, assign this um, category list in the states, okay? And then this category list can easily be used by this component, or hundreds of thousands of component can be reactively updated, can be easily used, okay? Right now, in our page, in category list, let's say here, uh, in created hook, we are calling some category, right? So this is only in the local, okay? This category list is not available anywhere, only available in this category list. What if you want to use the same category list in this text? We will not be able to use that okay so in order to use that and um, be able to use that we have to instead of uh, assigning in our local uh, memory local data here this is this is an, a one kind of state and this state is the local state okay this is the local state so instead of updating in the local state what we will be going to do is that we will be updating the global state the bank of data okay then any component can use this data freely okay if someone changes some component changes this data all the component will be notified and they will be uh, they will change uh, reactively easily okay one of the coolest example is uh, you see this one or this one okay so what they do is let's say if I do some uh, like here okay then no matter where you are this one is going to be updated okay and this menu is definitely being used in many uh, in oh, sorry is only used by in one place and I uh, I can show uh, assure you that this will not be used this code will not be used uh, or copy pasted in multiple places exactly it is used in one place so whatever you do anywhere this like will call and update uh, data only here okay so that is how they manage this state everyone uses state if you have if you are going to have a very complex um, architecture complex web application you have to know that okay so here is another example I have collected for you uh, from the internet is okay let's say you have component a b c okay so let's say a has done some action okay maybe it can be uh, calling a backend api for some uh, array of list can be category list tag list or anything that it will call the api and uh, it will wait until the data has arrived once the data arrived it will call the mutation okay and the mutation will say okay cool go ahead and change the state the, then the state will change okay and this state is used by the getters okay and we have three getters component a using this state component b using the same state component c is using the state so just because a has done an action all of them has been changed hope you got it okay so in the next video i will not talk i will uh, directly go into the action and we'll show you how you can install the vivex how you can uh, uh, change all of those states things and uh, I will show you the data flow between across um, uh, among the components okay so stick with me this tutorial uh, is going to be really important for you guys so if you do not understand any concept just go ahead in our Facebook group development with epify lab and I will try to help you as much as you can okay so here we have the group okay so let's share your um, uh, thoughts and I will try to help as much as we can as I can okay and if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button. And please, uh, yeah, definitely share this video as much as you can. Thank you, guys. Have a nice time.